come on, get that thing fixed, or we'll all be in Mississippi mud. All right, fine. I'll hold it. we get down to Cass's Crossing. Let's go. Hold it right there. Rogue Donovan. You ain't going anywhere. I'll take the wagon. Donovan, you can't have this wagon. What's in it? It looks like a Gatling gun to me. I'll take that, too. I don't care what... You two boys. If you see Yancey Darren, you tell him to come looking for me. Now get! <laughs> See for yourself, we're just making it. Colonel Whitehead is pouring soldiers in above the line. If the river rises, though... The river is rising, Captain. I just received word from Fort Hudson. A crest of 59 feet just hit them, and they're evacuating Natchez under the hill. 59 feet? We'll never hold here. We've got to hold. What did you say the size of that crest was? 59 feet. And we've got 10 hours before it reaches New Orleans. That'll be around 9 o'clock tonight. Levy will never hold it. Then what can I do? Evacuate. You said you had 10 hours. Captain Fry, you will report to General Cochran immediately. Tell him. Tell him I am ordering the evacuation of New Orleans at once. Yes, sir. Mr. Colton, I have a message. Lieutenant Carson and his detail taking a Gatling gun to Cass's Crossing were ambushed. Carson was murdered. The gun is gone. The killer is Rogue Donovan. Rogue Donna. That will have to wait. But, sir, evacuate. That's an order, Captain. Yes, sir. Anything I can do, Mr. Colton? You have your own problem, Yancey. You heard the captain. Rogue Donovan escaped. You sent him to prison. He's undoubtedly looking for you to kill you. Mississippi may not give him a chance. <laughs> she at the levee? No, I murdered Cassis Crossing just below Waverly. There's a cove there. It's quiet. She misses the rush of the river. It's safe. She floats. Is it really bad, Yancey? The worst ever. Marsh Yancey. Yes, Obdah. The flood of 60. You remember that one? Yeah. But didn't they blow the levee at Bonnet Calais to take the waters away from New Orleans? That's right. Well, thank you, Obadiah. It's worth a chance, then. Better than no odds at all. Don't linger too long, Yancey. It's bad enough knowing you without having to remember you. Take good care of the ladies, Obadiah. Yes, sir. Thanks for the thought. In 1860, we had just about our worst flood. That is up to now. At that time, we dynamited the levee right here. That's Bonnet Carré. There's a shallow channel that runs from Bonnet Carré right to Lake Pontchartrain. Right in there, there used to be a town called Waterproof. When the water hit, it took a clear to the lake. 
Now, if we dynamite the levee at Bonnet Carré, the water will go straight through to the lake and take the pressure off of New Orleans here. The water will go to the lake and pass the city down to the east of us. Yes, yes, I understand, but you're wrong about the town of Waterproof. It's not a ghost. Well, it has to be. It's been flooded five times. I know, but when the war broke, this land was bought up by a lady, Charity Grayson. She has an immense sugar plantation planted right through there. Well, how can that be? The Union soldiers pillaged the whole countryside right after New Orleans fell. She's British, Yancey. Oh. Her property was above the spoils of war. Well, we're wasting time, Mr. Cope. That crest is getting closer and closer. Can you ride a horse? Mr. Derringer, I rode a horse all the way from Bull Run to Appomattox. Yes, I know. We chased you part of the way. Captain Clark, you better come with us. beginning of the Bonacare. Now, if we dynamite the levee just it above there... It will inundate there, Lady Charity's entire plantation. Probably her house as well. Mr. Colton, if I had to make a choice between Waverly, my plantation, and New Orleans, I'm afraid that... Well, I'm afraid that Waverly just have to lose. I know. But Lady Charity may not agree. You just have to see about that. Anyone will come today, gentlemen. Lady Charity? Who are you? Yancey Darren. The name is not without a certain dubious claim to fame. Yours is new to me. May I introduce Mr. Colt, administrator of New Orleans, and Captain Fry, head of his Secret Service. You are all on my land. Get off. Lady Charity, it's very urgent that we speak with you. Mr. Colton, there is no point in talking. You've come to dynamite this part of the levee. I give you my word, Lady Charity. You'll be handsomely reimbursed by the government. I give you my word, Mr. Colton. You take one more step on that levee, and you'll be shot. I will not be intimidated by threats. Did they kill him? No, they shot him in the leg. I'm going to town and get some soldiers, cannon and dynamite. Where will you be? I'll try to get him out of the house. What if you don't get clear? Blow the levee. What? Blow the levee. Oh, the devil. This devil. Try playing hero, Mr. Administrator. You knew me. Yeah, I know you. I was down below by the levee and I heard it all. Listen, lady. You ought to be mighty thankful that I'm here. I'll be thankful when you're dead. I don't think so. I figure on holding up here at your place. The administrator there is a hostage. Puts me in pretty good condition. Only one problem. Let their levy out there. They blow it up, then we all drown. There'll be blue bellies on the way here. So I know a couple of rifles won't stop them. But this Gatling gun will. Is that what you want? Yes. Get your boy there back to the levy. They'll need his gun. Isn't there a shred of human decency left in you? Well, Mr. Administrator, 
No, I don't think so. Experts took it all out of me. Listen to me. If you keep my men from blowing up that levee, you will be directly responsible for the lives of countless women and children. Mr. Administrator, if I were you, I wouldn't worry about their deaths. I'd worry about yours. You go away, Riley, and bring us back two horses while I change clothes. We're going to teach the meaning of the word charity to a woman named Charity. Pleasure, Mr. Administrator. There's one thing I can say for you. You're the last hand. You know, I've had bullets taken out of me in my time, and I know it ain't no picnic. Thirty-one caliber. Makes quite a haul. Yeah, souvenir for you. If she had hit you anywhere upstairs, I don't think I'd have had me a hostage. I didn't shoot to kill. Meaning you know how? I know how. You know, there's no need to glue yourself to that gun. We command the whole area anyhow. There ain't nobody gonna get to us across that ground except maybe an Indian. What are you doing? Yancey Derringer and his Indian, there are the horses. Yancey Derringer? <laughs> get around behind us now they've outflanked us you've got to kill them oh, ain't you the bloodthirsty one if they get this gun we're finished everything will go you've got to stop derringer that's why i'm here lady that's why i'm here now look you do what you're told hang on to the gun and watch the levee i'll backtrack derringer and the indian here take this pistol keep your eye on the administrator Try any tricks and I'll kill you dead. Don't you understand? Don't you see we're fighting for the same thing? No, we're not, sweetheart. I'm fighting for revenge and a little freedom. You're just greedy. Scatter! Quick, Gail, under the levee. Start digging in placements. Lieutenant, bring the dynamite. Hello, Yancey. Uh, you're looking well. You too, Yancey. And you're what I came for. Afraid I'm not available. Oh, you're available, all right. I guess I can wait. After you. Pin down that house. Drop your weapons, Mr. Derringer. And the gun in the sash. The Indian's knife. 
Just a minute, Mr. Donovan. I'm in charge now. She's a bear cat, ain't she? Get on that Gatling. And if anything moves on that levee, kill it. Yes, sir. A real bloodthirsty type. Get over there. You're buying yourself a rope, Lady Charity. I'm protecting my home and my property. Well, you won't get away with it. Oh, Yancy. I hope you realize that. You're wrong. She can get away with it. Tell that Indian to go through the window, walk where we can see him, and tell the commanding officer that if anyone tries to dynamite that levy, you and the administrator are dead men. And tell him the order came from Rogue Donovan. I told you. She can get away with it. Tell him. You heard what the lady said. Tell Captain Price. No signs. I just told him to make it fast. Watch that levy. I'm watching, I'm watching. The only thing I see out there are the bodies you made. Lady Charity, they're evacuating New Orleans now. But tens of thousands will be trapped. Women and babies, the sick, invalids. With absolutely not one prayer of survival. Survival? That's what it is. It's just like rogues trying to survive. Just like you are. Just like I am. It's every man for himself. All right, Lady Charity. From now on, you're a man. Drop it! She's smarter than I am. I never would have thought it. I didn't want it to be this way. Why couldn't you leave me alone? Nancy, I think she's going to kill you. Hold your fire! I don't understand. Is Mr. Danger up there? Mr. Colton? Are they all right? We're checkmated. We can't fire in that house. I'm sorry, Pahu. I don't understand. You mean we're supposed to fire regardless? The battery will load and fire. Lady Charity. not a lady and there's no charity in you. You've even ceased to be a human being. There's only one experience left for you, for everyone in this room. Death. You can meet it nobly in an infinite act of mercy so that others, even the rogue Donovans might survive. Or you can die as you've lived, disgracefully consumed by your own bitterness and greed. Well, Lady Jane. No. Out of here and dynamite the levy. Yancy, I can make it. Okay, come on. No, no. Don't, don't move me. 
She caught me with that buckshot. There's a big hole in there. You better go, friend, before that river gets in. Why'd you do it, Ralph? Guess it's like your friend says. You've got no place to go but out. Might as well go in style. Bless you, Mr. Donovan. Uh, he, he never gives up, does he? <laughs> Mr. Colton, I cleaned everything out of the wound, including an old Chicago newspaper. It was quite a flood. You're very kind, Francine. Is there any word from the city? Not yet. Thank you, Obadiah. Now, Mr. Colton? Yancy? How's his leg, Francine? I think he's going to be all right. It's much better. Pahu made you the crutch. Thank you, Pahu. How's the river? Well, the crest has passed and the river's falling. And the city? Have you heard from the city? No word. Captain Fry. Captain Fry, the city? Mr. Colton, New Orleans will be with us for a long time, at least until the next flood. When it hit, the crest never passed 20 feet. The levee is held and the river is dropping. In fact, the evacuees are streaming back into town. Wonderful. I have an excellent idea. Why don't we join? Them? 